Unit 2, Recording 10, Food Security, Section 1 Food security, as it was defined in World Food Summit in 1996, is the case when all people, at all times, have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. This issue has been the cornerstone of the agenda for the sustainable development adopted in 2015 by the countries of the United Nations, which ambitious goals are to ensure access to safe, nutritious and sufficient food for all people all year round, and to eradicate all forms of malnutrition in the world by the year 2030. Self-sufficiency is one aspect of food security which implies meeting your country's needs for food. As part of food security, it is directly connected to land use. The ways land is used to produce food people need and is closely connected to soil quality and organic farming and modern techniques of growing food. It is significant because it involves every aspect of the agribusiness sector and the food supply. Each country has to answer the two main questions about food security. How much food it needs and what factors are to be considered to ensure the country's food security in the future. With regard to how much food a country has to produce to be secure, it is necessary to outline one important aspect. A country's dependence on the commodity or produce, for example, potatoes, which are a stable part in the diet of many countries such as the United Kingdom or Russia. And Ireland can be a good example of it. In the mid-1880s, Ireland was dependent on potatoes for its food security and most of the farmers used their land to grow potatoes but this vegetable is susceptible to diseases. Potato blight destroyed the crops and caused terrible famine in Ireland. A million people died of starvation and the same number had to leave the country. So what is obvious is that Ireland was not food secure then. Nowadays, new modern techniques and improved disease-resistant seeds prevent such disasters and diversification of crops ensure food security. Though a country may not be self-sufficient in this crop, and the country has to consider the question of import reliance. How much commodity a country has to buy from abroad to meet the demand? The second issue which is important to consider is the aspects which ensure food security. According to FAO, these are firstly food availability, which means sufficient quantities of food of appropriate quality, supplied through domestic production or imports, including food aid. Secondly, food access. Access by individuals to adequate resources for acquiring appropriate foods for a nutritious diet. Those involve legal, political, economic and social arrangements. For example, a good distribution and retail network and what has to be done to make them more secure and sustainable. Furthermore, industrial relations. What has to be improved to avoid the threat of strikes? It also implies encouraging people to buy food produced locally to reduce the carbon footprint. Thirdly, utilisation of food through adequate diet, clean water, sanitisation and healthcare to reach a state of nutritional well-being where all physiological needs are met. This brings out the importance of non-food inputs in food security. And finally, stability. Food has to be affordable so that to be food secure, a country's population, household or individual can have access to adequate food at all times without losing it as a consequence of an economic or climactic crisis or seasonal food insecurity. Therefore, food security does not refer only to a country's self-sufficiency. It is a global issue which involves each country in the world, both developed and developing. It means balance and cooperation of all to reach the goal of food security and nutrition in one country and globally.